Veľkom. Veľkom je ťasná. I'm a mother. I just finished a master's in system dynamics. I am a mathematician. My specialty is decision analysis. Professor of uh, information science. Biostatistics and demography. I work in the field of bioenergy economics. I'm an engineer and also a social scientist. I'm a physician. Modeling the uh, water resources. My area of expertise is in ecosystem modeling or end-to-end -end modeling. Biologist. Ecologist. But the only thing I really know about it is actually lakes. I study lakes. It's an intellectual journey, as I said, right from the start, and we have now been through the analysis of where systems analysis stands and where the challenges are located to already a portfolio of methods that we hope help us address these challenges. Um, if I had thought about what systems analysis meant uh, before coming here, it, I would imagine a whole bunch of uh, boxes uh, with ordinary differential equations connecting them. I realize now, having been here, that it's uh, much more complicated than that. It seems to me that uh, systems analysis always has an end aim in public policies. All the major issues that uh, politicians are confronted uh, with uh, need scientific input and uh, that scientific input has to be integrated and seen as a, a grand total. And I think this is exactly where systems analysis plays a role. Remember that ro a Rubik's Cube? Well, you see, if we try to optimize each part, I would make this face all red, <laughs> then I would try to make th this face all blue, and you know what would happen. It would screw the whole things up. And so systems analysis is a recognition that when you're looking at a system, whether it is an economic system, whether it is a system in ecology, whether it is a physical system, or whether it is an economic system, that you just don't optimize each of the parts. You have to see how each of the parts interact with each other and to create a well-being of a system. Systems analysis is the art and craft of using models. Using models for what? To analyze complex systems that themselves consist of many dynamically interacting systems. Leaving something out can give you a very misleading conclusion. Leaving something out can cause policy that is counterproductive. So in fact, what we do is we use systems analysis at a lot of places now to try to find out what is a productive approach towards our society. Not everybody benefits from the, from the great progress that has been achieved during the last centuries. Uh, about 40% of the global population is excluded. And so we have to understand, and I hope that systems approaches is, is the most important way of understanding that, is how to provide adequate living on a safe planet from everybody. This is all what system analysis is about, to see how we can actually understand what nature is telling us and find out where we make all those mistakes that we're constantly making. The mission that brings us all together here is really never been more topical, never been so critical, never been so important. Because we are all brought up in our disciplines. We are all wind mathematicians or summer temperature biologists or sociologists talking about shade and life. And we have been brought up to try to build up this fantastic tale of the Earth system, of the global system, by putting together these disciplinary views without being too much worried about the connectivities, feedbacks, and multiple connections. Let me tell you that I, I already learned um, a new expression, which is um, the art of systems analysis. And it is really deserved to describe that word, the art. People from very different scientific disciplines meet and interact. And that is something which you do not meet very often. In 
statistical analysis, you have to go in lots of different fields, parts of researches, and you have to, to see the harmony between each other. And yeah, music does more or less the same. It, it harmonizes and connects people. It's great that IASA is organizing this as a kind of marketplace, Agora, where, where we can make new connections. I have heard about some of the techniques but wasn't thinking about them in the same application arenas that I'm hearing about at the conference. Still lots to be done. There's still heaps of innovations to be made on the technical side but also how to really see that taken up on the on the policy side. So how to how do people interact with this? It's not necessarily a natural way of thinking for many humans, so how can we get that across to people who aren't as familiar as us about what systems analysis is? And when you're working together, then you group the bits and pieces together, uh, they might not all fit. So the risk of systems analysis is being able to coordinate the sub-components. You know, we've heard examples, for example, of space shuttles that crashed into Mars because they were using different units and different subsystems. So the big part is how do you make sure that there's coordination between the different subsystems while you're working within the larger system. Well, I, I think the future will, depends on nothing, the future happens. I think it, it, will, it could benefit from good systems analysis.